Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. This is my OnePlus 2 and this is the newly leaked Nexus launcher. Now I was able to download the APK and install it onto my OnePlus 2 and what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at this new launcher to see if it is the future of the Nexus device. So firstly the folders act exactly the same as they do in the Google Now launcher so nothing new there but where there is something new is down the bottom here because as you can see there is no app drawer icon. You actually need to swipe up to now access your applications and then swipe back down to then get rid of it. Now there is an arrow here which you can press on so that it's kind of an app drawer icon however it's not as obvious as what it used to be. Now I'm actually quite a big fan of this and I really like the interface and the layout. You can still do the same thing by quickly going through applications by moving the bar on the right hand side and you can still search for apps using the search bar at the top so it's not really that much different it's just really the way that you access the actual app drawer itself. Now if you tap and hold on the screen you can go into the settings of the launcher as well as change the wallpaper and and also add widgets and you can also turn on or off app suggestions and again when I go back into my app drawer you can see that it's got that line at the top there which was introduced with the last version of Android and just in general it looks really nice and it is also really fluid as well. Now if this was installed on a Nexus device you'd be able to swipe in from the left hand side to access Google Now like you can in the Google Now launcher however for some reason installing it on my OnePlus 2 I can't get access to that but if I tap on the Google button in the top left hand corner and then tap on it again Again, I can get to Google now quite quickly, but it would be nicer if it did work, which makes me think this is going to be a Nexus exclusive launcher, which is something that they've not really done before. You can still get access to the now on tap, and there's a little change to the icons here as well, but in terms of the functionality, that works exactly the same as what we've had previously. So another thing that makes me think this is going to be a Nexus exclusive launcher is if I go into the settings on my device, you can see that it doesn't actually replace the Google now launcher that I've also got installed. It's actually an additional launcher. Now this makes me think that the Google Now Launcher is still going to be available in the Play Store for things like Samsung and LG devices, but if you've got a Nexus device you will get exclusive access to this launcher, which some people may or may not like. Getting quick access to Google Now is still there, which is what we've got on a Nexus at the moment, but the change to the app drawer, some people may like it, some people may not. I'm actually a fan and it's actually taken directly from ASAP Launcher, which is another new awesome launch which I'm going to be covering in a later video, but overall with a first look at this and the brief time I've spent with it, I'm actually quite a big fan. And that is going to do it guys. Now as always you can follow me on Beam, Instagram and Twitter and links will be in the description down below along with the link to download the APK for this launcher for you guys to try out yourself. Now if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and for more great content don't forget to subscribe. Now as I mentioned guys this is a really early look at the new Nexus launcher and this may not even be what the final launcher looks like but it's a really good insight into what Google is looking to do in the future. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.